Okay, for this purpose of this assignment, we're going to put the eye level right at the middle point. So take your ruler, draw a line at the center. Okay, this is the eye level, EL. Okay, the next thing you need to do, you need to put a dot right in the middle. Okay, the vanishing point in this case is in the middle, but it's not always uh, necessary that it must be in the middle. Okay, but just for practice for this exercise, we're just going to put it in the middle. Okay, how do you start uh, drawing a box? Okay, there are three steps. The first step, okay, is to draw a rectangle or square first. Okay, step one. Draw a square or rectangle. Okay, so when you draw the square or rectangle, okay, for example, let's say I'm going to draw a box that is below the eye level and on the left hand side. When you draw the square or rectangle, make sure that, the, that this is actually. Uh, technically accurate okay these lines should be parallel okay okay what's the second step now the, the second step is very simple once you have the square or rectangle the four corners, okay, join back to the vanishing point. Join the corners so for this, uh, remember not to draw too hard with your pencil. Okay, these are just construction lines. So we'll draw it lightly. So now, once you have the side, the front side, after drawing the four, okay, one more. After drawing the four lines from the corners to the vanishing point, you should see that based on this, you can see the right hand side and the top. Okay. So now the box is almost done, which leaves us with the last step. Okay. Determine your depth. Draw the lines at the back. Okay, so take your ruler. Suppose I start from here. I'll just move it up. Okay, then you can stop wherever you want depending on how big you want the box to be. So let's say I'm happy with this. So I'll just draw a line across and I'll stop once I hit this. Okay, I stop here and not here is because this line joins back to the top right hand corner, right? So once I hit this, the next thing I can do is to draw a line down. Again, make sure that this line, these are parallel, this is parallel. And notice that the vertical lines that we drew, we drew, these are 90 degrees perpendicular to the eye level. Okay, so once you draw that, we're going to draw the last two lines, which is the inside of the box at the back. Okay, technically we would not see these lines in real life. Okay, the lines at the back. But for the sake of construction, uh, because whatever we do, we start out with the box first. We want to draw them so that uh, we can work with them later. So there you go. This is the final box. And um, just to darken the lines. Okay, darken the lines that you will see.
Okay, so now it's clear. So okay, this is a box below the eye level. How about uh, a box that's on the eye level? So maybe let's say I draw a box on the right hand side here, on the eye level. Okay, same thing, follow the first step. First step is what? Draw a square rectangle. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, step two, join the four corners to the vanishing point. Step three, determine the depth of the box. So I'm going to move my ruler again from here. I'm going to move it down. Okay, you can see this is the front. This will be the side, the left hand side of the box. I'm going to draw a line down. Okay, this is the depth. And I'm going to finish off by drawing the lines at the back of the box. So from here, just draw a line across. Hit the back here and draw a line down. Okay, so this is the back of the box. And um, yeah, so why is it that you only see the front and the side? Remember, this box is at the eye level. That means the box is right in front of your eyes, it's not above or below. Therefore, you can't see the top and you can't see the bottom. Okay. So again, go ahead and darken the lines that you want. Okay, so this is our box on the eye level. Okay, finally, let's draw one more that is on the top. Okay, can you guess which sides would you see if you draw a box on the top above the eye level? Yes, you will see the front and you will see the bottom. And in this case, we're going to draw it on the left hand side. So you'll probably see the right hand side also. So let's go ahead. One more box. Step one, draw a square rectangle. Okay, step two, join the four corners to the vanishing point. And step three, determine the depth and finish drawing the lines at the back. Stuck on the lines. Okay, there you go. So with this, I hope you know how to construct a box. Okay, the box is really really important because everything else that we draw we will start out with a box so unless you know how to do this you will not be able to proceed on so i have hope you can practice doing this so that we can be uh, ready for the next step